bang, bang. Win, and we are in the playoffs, but we got to go against Saquon Barkley again. And he has human joystick, spin cycle. He now has more abilities than ever with pass rush elite from Jonathan Allen. I'm a little nervous going into this game. I have never not made the playoffs in CFM history. And I usually play like one or two a year, uh, one or two a year, but I've never not made the playoffs. I refuse to start today. So we'll see how this shapes out. It's going to be, it's going to be a good game. It's going to be a tough game, but we are going to fight. We had a couple comments. One comment was, hey, hey, yo, RC, how do you, how do you do your pocket presence? You do a great job in the pocket. What, what you doing there? Well, first and foremost, you got to get in a formation, not bunch. These other formations, like a tight formation, like out of the Oakland Raiders playbook. And what? It, hey, hey, Sage. Look at Sage and Ox. Those are my two boxers. Hey, man, I'm trying to make a video here. Can, can we can we get some? Can we, can we be patient for a second? It's too hot. It's literally. I'm in Austin, Texas. It's 93 degrees outside. I can't. I can't take you for a walk yet. It's too hot. Once it cools down, I'm literally taking them for walks at like 8 p.m. But you say, yo, RC, pocket presence, what do you do? Go to the Oakland Raiders playbook, run the tight scheme, and don't have escape artist. Use a pocket, like Dougie Williams. Use Eli Manning. I don't care who you use. Just don't have escape artist. And sit there in the pocket like a man. Move up in the pocket. Don't move backwards. And that's really how, how what you do. Don't be afraid to take a sack. A sack isn't the worst thing. The worst thing is you rolling back and taking a 20-yard sack or just or just hiking and chunking the throw because you're nervous in the pocket. Learn how to step up in the pocket, and you're going to be a much better player. Hopefully, in this game, you're going to see me try to step up in the pocket, and I'm going to go over some instances where I feel like I did a really good job of that and sometimes where my opponent, I think, did not do a great job of that. But let's win and get into the playoffs so we have a chance to win $2,500. Let's get it. Bang, bang. Let's go win, and we are in. Saquon Barkley, jukebox, human joystick. Jonathan Allen now has pass rush elite. He's getting he's getting more and more abilities. I need to get glitchy like that. I got to get some more abilities. So, secure tackle or Choyaki. Oh, boy. And we are in the snow once again. If you did, If you've been watching this, this is a... $2,500 money CFM league that's lasting three seasons. I got pick 19. I picked the Giants, which I traded Barkley, and then he got traded again to the Eagles. And the way the way it works, all of your superstar abilities and star abilities go down to normal to try to even out the teams. And you have a cap. You have money to spend. Like it's 15 bucks to get a player from normal to superstar um, and so on and so forth. I posted it in the in the last video exactly how it's all breaking down, but this league is set up very nicely. And as you can see, he's coming out in gun mon monster stack. A couple people have done this to me with not much success, but I don't really know how to stop this because I know it glitches out your defense there. And he, okay, I, I shoot the inside zone. Barkley, Barkley, Barkley. That's who I'm worried about. I'm going to be running my cover three invert right here. Okay, no, this is cover two. He has a cover two bomb. That little outside fade, very good. So I'm, I'm showing the cover three shell this play. Third down and 11, because I want him to do a smart route, out route. And he says his, his receiver slips, and we are able to get a pick. And can it be a reservation for a six? Yes, sir. Up 7-0 against our runner. If you go up 7-0, get a pick six or something like that, that's so crucial. Let's run this back. A cover three and I, I, I named this the best defense in the game. And as you're going to see, look, did his receiver slip? No. But as you're going to see in the in the group chat, he goes, he goes, yo, I ended up throwing a pick on the slip. So I don't know. His receiver might have slipped, but he's throwing into a cloud flat in the corner right there. That is how cover three invert and how you make it look like cover three. You can throw these out routes and these 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 little uh, like smart route out routes and bag it up and get INTs. That's how you do it. That's what makes it the best defense in the game, especially if any pass rush elites are in Madden. Woo! I form tight is dead. Get out of I four time tight. We know how to shoot that gap. Third and 22. He passes. He's dead in my opinion. So I want him to pass. Nothing there. As you can see, pocket presence, pocket presence. Carson Wentz. He snaps the ball and literally chunks it down the middle. He knows it's covered too. It's not an absolutely horrible read. However, pocket presence. You can't be so scared in the pocket. It's now the end of May. If you don't know how to, to block 
146. I, I mean, I can still get, get in trouble with it as well, but you got to have pocket presence, and it's okay. If you end up eating a sack, that's not the worst thing to happen. You just can't you can't just hike throw. You got you got to get enough reps in, and that's where with these custom playbooks and you running 20 different formations, you don't have enough reps in to get comfortable versus all the different types of defenses you can go against. So get out of your custom playbooks, you bums. And I'm talking all of the regs players that are watching this. Custom playbooks are hindering you because you cannot master a formation or master two formations. It makes it your game not as good. There's a reason for multiple reasons why all pro players are running either one or two formations, maybe sprinkle in a couple things here or there. It's because it's because you need to be able to master it. All right. So for example, I run tight, trips tight in, and I sprinkle in this play right here. Dagger. A dagger dot. Okay, he did not get two feet in bounds. One minute and four seconds left until half. I feel like if I can score here, it's going to be GG. I get the ball to start the second half. My goal is just get a field goal. As you can see, I, I, I know how to block the blitz. I block the blitz. I get a first down. 56 seconds left. I'm going for a one-play touchdown. It looks like I thought he was in cover, cover three, but I think he was in cover four right there, cover four quarters, or cover four. Yeah, he was in cover four quarters there. All right, I'm expecting cover two. Um, once again, he is in the cover four quarters, I believe. Hit him up with the little baby dot across the middle. I just need one first down to get in field goal range. I'm going for a one-play touchdown. It looks like it's there, but I get a little scared. I don't want to throw a pick. Let's get in the red zone. All right. Bam! Daniel Jones running outside the pocket down the middle on the barber dot. Don't say it ain't so. And can I make the field goal? Yes. I'm telling you, I've missed so many field goals so far this year because I've had Zane Gonzalez... His meter is so slow, and so I've missed so many field goals, and holy cow, his defense was humming right there. Second down and two, the second half, it ain't pretty. He's in white jerseys. I'm in the snow, but we're up two scores. In the third quarter, I got the ball first, and okay, I double teamed every play. If I don't double team, if I don't double team, the dude just instant sheds, instant sheds. So what do I have to do? Every time I have got to double team that guy, and I can't get lazy because, because that's what's going to happen. He has the ball now. He's running the ball once again. This time he's running Wildcat. I feel like I got the Wildcat bag. My linebacker was just a little slow there. And as you can see, my defense is holding up. My block shit I've been working on all year long is holding up. But, I mean, say, oh, God. Oh, no, he has the jukebox. And human joystick is still so damn scary. And that's the deal with this game is it can be so inconsistent. Uh, meaning you can bag the run, the same run, over and over again, and all of a sudden, it's just perfect blocking, and the C's wide open for a touchdown. He literally blocks the crib, two streaks, that cannot be the read. Fourth down and two, one stop, and this game is over. And he hits me with a with a baby out route. My problem is I put the dudes on soft squats. Oh, God. Man, that, that juke animation, it's like, what makes me mad about it, it's not good stick. He's literally just pressing right or left on the right analog stick. But we want him passing. Pass, pass, pass. Means I'm going to get sacks and I'm going to get stops. Third and 27. He's now out of field goal range. What's he going to do? He's rolling a little bit to the left. He tries to throw it uh, a deep in route. But we are going back. We're okay with conceding some yards. But we are not going to let him get a first down. I don't think he can score on me. Up 10-0. He's doing some coverage defense here. And dot, 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 let's go. Henry Ruggs with a diving catch. Now, see that pocket presence? You just slowly move to the left, let your running back come across, get it picked up, and then and then do your thing. Don't just, don't just hike throw. Don't hike throw. A lot of people say pocket presence. That's what pocket presence is. All right. I think he's in, in some type of, uh, of coverage where I can take advantage of this comeback route. And it was, I mean, it was open, but he ended up using it, so I kind of got lucky. I ain't going to lie. Fourth and ten, I'm going to do the same thing here on this right-hand side and also have a post coming across the middle. I'm kind of seeing where his user is. His user is in the middle of the field, so I'm going to dot. That time he was not in place. And did you see what I did there? Moved up in the pocket. Move up in, po in the pocket. That's what you got to do. Pocket presence. Let's go. Fourth down and seven. I'm going to run what I consider a grid dot, and my tight end is wide open. If you go back and see this, let's let's rewind that. Watch my quarterback right when he snaps the ball. What? I guess I didn't show it. But right when he snaps the ball, he literally like just jumps left. That's because of the snow. All right, here we go. 
Oh, no. 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 45 seconds left in the game. This is what I'm talking about, about the run game. You can lock it up all game long, and then all of a sudden, just the Red Sea parts wide open. Your dudes take bad, bad angles, and it's a touchdown. It all comes down to this, and Henry Ruggs, our star player, recovers the onside kick. We win the division, and we are moving on to the playoffs. I have never... Oh, yeah, you see right there? Exactly what he did. He went straight right. I have never not made the playoffs in any CFM in any of my, my whole career, and I was not going to start this year. Let's go on to the playoffs to try to claim $2,500. Let's get it.